So because of the size of your small camper trailer, an electric blanket is going to give you a great night's sleep when camping in the winter without the need for a heater or any extreme outdoor winter gear. And this episode is to just share with you, finding an electric blanket isn't quite as easy as you would think. There is a lot of things that go into this, so let's get right into it. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Thank you, Squarespace. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Playing With Sticks. My name is Drew. My family and I take out small camper trailers through the state of Alaska, sharing tips and tricks with you along the way to help you have a more simple and gratifying camping experience. If that sounds anything like you, make sure you subscribe below. But in today's episode, the simple is about not needing a $1,000 Propex heater to heat up your small camper trailer. And the gratifying experience is not having to deal with the moisture from propane heaters or that dry heat that blows all over you in your small camper trailer from an electric heater. So let's get right into this first blanket and stick around for all these because you're going to find not all blankets work for all trailers based on your insulation, based on your power source you're going to be using, based on your camping style. And if you're anything like our family, you may use two of these blankets in combination because you find one blanket can't do everything you need. So here we go, the 12 volt blanket. These blankets are designed to sit on you or under you and then have a blanket laid over top of them to trap heat and keep your body and your core warm. What they're not designed to do is to heat the air of a large camper trailer or a room. But what I've found over the years is when you have a small trailer like our teardrop trailer, halfway through the night, any heat that ends up escaping out of your blanket quickly fills that cabin volume of air. And when you wake up in the morning to go and melt ice or change into your clothes, you're not jumping from that cocoon of warmth of the electric blanket into this cold room. You step out and you are pleasantly surprised that this thing has actually heated up the whole cabin. But enough of that, let's get into this first one. And this is the 12 volt budget blanket. I think 80, 90% of you are actually going to use this blanket, but probably in tandem with the next blanket I'm going to talk about. This blanket runs about 50 watts. I'm not sure if this blanket is even sold today. This is the Stalwart, or at least under this brand. So what's the issues with these 50 watts? This blanket heats so slow, it's not the type of blanket that you wanna take outside with you and put on top of your toilet seat cover to heat it up before going to the bathroom in winter. This guy is a turtle. Uh, but how it works is I put it on me before I go to bed, and by the time I fall asleep, I start feeling a little warmth, but it's still not like glowing warmth under the blankets. Now, the type of blanket you're going to need to make this most useful, and it is a bit expensive, I'd say put a Pendleton style blanket over top of this. 100% lamb's wool. So this is a knockoff of a Pendleton. So there are knockoffs out there. Uh, we got this one pretty affordable, but you have to look around quite a bit because these are some high quality thick blankets. Because they're so thick and heavy, they're gonna hold in all that heat. And by 2 a.m., I'm not kidding you, this little blanket is going to get so hot, even in winter conditions, that you're gonna be stripping off all your clothes. I take all my clothes off to my underwear at 2 a.m. at some of the coldest temperatures here in Alaska. The beauty of this blanket for many of you is that it's not going to kick on the fans in your larger solar portable power stations. And that's a big deal for you light sleepers. Uh, this one right here, as you can hear, it's on and there is no fan right now, but I'm gonna show you a different blanket later. It's going to set off the fan so loud on this new Blue Eddy AC50S and my Blue Eddy 1500 watt generator that it's gonna drive a lot of you nuts, in a, especially in a small little teardrop trailer. Those fans can get pretty loud. Before going on to the next blanket, I just wanna talk about size, like length and width. Does it matter? And my opinion is no, I honestly don't think it does. So we've carried around queen electric blankets, but the principle of the electric blanket is basically to heat your core. 
just like camping or backpacking in the winter. They suggest, you know, opening up your chest and letting some of that heat out in the night to get it down to your feet level. That's basically what's happening with this, that all the heat that escapes, as long as the blankets that are over this are tucked over your feet and back behind your head or wherever you need them, that's where that bubble of heat will stay. The AC blanket. No, Drew! All that loss! Yes, there is going to be energy lost from the inverter, but it honestly, to me, isn't that big of a deal because of how this blanket is going to be used. So I'm gonna plug it into this one first, the Rock Pals, and there's a reason for that. And I'll tell you why later. And that's a big part of these blankets. They all act differently on different solar portable power stations. So why would you wanna carry around an AC blanket that loses power from an inverter going from 12 volt to AC? I mean, within three, four minutes, I am too hot on this thing and I need to turn it down. And that's the beauty of it. This isn't going to be the blanket that you're going to keep with you all night. That's just gonna waste a lot of energy at 105 watts, it's saying here. It's typically between 95 and 106 watts. This is the blanket that when we go outside and chop up the ice and melt that ice into water and we come back in and we're freezing, this is going to bring our core up right away. You're using this to get everything warmed up, turn this off, and then you're going to switch back to this 12 volt budget blanket. Movie time. Come on. We're going to go inside, baby. This is the blanket we use for our movie nights. It's fun when you're cuddling together as a family to not have to wear all your winter gear. It's nice to just be in your normal clothes. And this allows us to do that. This allows us to throw the projector on our trailer and then just enjoy the fun family moments. Careful, that soup is sharp. Our only hope is the dragon warrior. The panda. Okay guys, just let me geek out for one minute here. This is that new projector we've been carrying around. It's the BenQ GS2. And it is the projector for us outdoor enthusiasts. As you can see, there is no wires on this. This has an internal battery that allows it to run about three to three and a half hours. So that's enough for, what, two movies before we even need to plug this into our portable power stations. But that is not where the features end on this. So you guys know I love my Vankyo little budget projector. This definitely is not a budget projector. This has all the bells and whistles. Um, so I thought I would highlight it for those of you who, you know, kind of want the best or the guy in your life that has everything. This was designed around kids, so it's designed to be dropped. It has super high water resistance. It has a sensor here that turns off the projector if kids are looking in it. But what I love most about this is it has autofocus and auto keystone. So what that means is I can go in the teardrop, instantly set this up, and it focuses anywhere on that rounded roof. Then let's say baby has to take a nap. I can just jump right out with this and put it right on the side of the trailer, not having to adjust anything, because again, it finds the right plane with the keystone and it auto focuses. And unlike the Venkyo projector that you have to put really high, which means that now it's in everybody's way, this has a swivel on the bottom of it and a place to put in a thread from a tripod. So this can go on the floor and shoot up so everybody can see over top of it. Again, uh, if you want a budget one, Vankyo is pretty good. You know, I said in the last review of it, not accurate colors, not the best sound, but for 130 bucks, you can't go wrong. If you want something better than your TV, like this is what we use at home now. We take it with us everywhere because the colors are so good. All right, back to the video. Sorry, I had to geek out and show this somewhere because I just love this thing. So what's the issue with this blanket besides it uses a ton of watts? The issue is because it uses so much watts, it may engage the fans on your larger portable power stations. And this is where you're going to have to be really careful with the nicer, more powerful blankets. So with this little guy, he's a 280 watt hour solar portable power station from Rock Pals. This, as you guys know, is my tried and true little guy, but it's been discontinued, uh, which just drives me crazy. Uh, the ones that are replacing it, in my opinion, are not near as good as this was. 
but as you can hear, it has no fan kicking in right now. It, for some reason, doesn't need one. Well, now I'm gonna take it out of here and I'm going to put it into this AC50S, the 500 watt generator from Blue Eddy. But when I first got this, I thought, oh, it's not so bad. The fan stays on consistent. So it's just a, a nice hum, almost like a white noise to put you to sleep. But unfortunately, that's not how the technology works in most of these blankets. So how they work is once they get up to a certain temperature, they stop. And when that happens, the fan turns off. And the fan turns on. And now it's not as bad on this AC blanket as the next DC blanket I'm going to show you. And the DC blanket next, which is a mattress pad, is the best. It's just amazing. The next blanket, it does surges. So you hear which could drive some of you just crazy. So those of you in the comment section, let me know if your larger portable power stations like your Jackeries uh, and other brands, are the fans engaging at about 100 watts as well? A huge thank you to the sponsor of this video and that is squarespace.com. So if you're one of those who wants to take your outdoor pursuits and turn them into a fun online hobby or a small business, there really is no better time than now. Seriously, just look around. Everybody is on the internet. Now obviously having a website is not going to automatically boost your business or get your hobby off the ground. But what it's going to do is it's going to force you to begin with the end in mind. A website is going to give you a clear roadmap of where you want to go and what you want to achieve with your online presence. Squarespace is the one-stop shop to get your domain, create your website, promote that site, and even set up your own online store. And it's all as simple as just dragging the mouse and clicking a button. It really can't be any simpler. So if you're interested in this, sign up for your free trial at squarespace.com. And then when you're ready to launch that website, go to squarespace.com backslash playing with sticks for 10% off your first order of your website or domain. So the 12 volt mattress pad, I was looking to find you guys the perfect blanket, the perfect electric heated blanket. And you know, at one time I remember Charles Moman's wife, Susie, she said something about having the perfect blanket. So I reached out to Charles and said, what is she using? It may be expensive. It may put you off a little at first. It's a $94 heated mattress pad. And this was designed for truckers, like 18 wheelers. It was designed to go up in the cab and to get it heated for when they were sleeping in there. This pad is so different than this 12 volt budget blanket. I thought all 12 volt blankets just don't heat up fast. And this thing, like it heats up incredibly fast. You put a blanket over it and within two minutes that thing is hot. And by 10, 15 minutes, you're so hot you have to turn that heat down. And it's a different type of heat. That's really what I want to tell you guys about. Um, you just have some ailments. You're just uh, starting to feel things a little more, some arthritis. When you put a normal electric blanket under you, there's some heat, it's kind of like radiant, but this one feels like it pushes into your muscles. It, like, it's hard to explain. So when I had it here on a hard floor and I laid on it, it felt just like my other electric blankets. But once I put it on the mattress and the coils kind of push into you and that heat just radiates through you. And you know, even in the instructions, it said, don't fold this mattress up. So this mattress, the biggest con of it is it's not portable. You have to pin it with safety pins to the mattress. And why that is, they say if it folds on itself, if these coils were to bend over each other, they could catch each other on fire. Uh, and they're right, the thing is really, really hot. And those who have, you know, the big power stations, if you have that type of power, why not? I mean, just go with something like that. Uh, the only negative, and I'll put it on here, is that you're going to get that fan noise. And even when you crank it down to the low setting, these blankets do surges of energy. It's not just like one low setting and one high. Uh, 
Um, but other than that, if you can get past the noise or just run it off your AGM battery if you have one, this is one I would highly suggest for you guys if you have the money. And it is truly the winter uh, mattress pad. This is the one that's going to get you through those really cold days. You guys, it's been fun. Uh, we'll see you all in the next episode. Stay safe out there.